And do you know what day it is? It's almost Halloween. And Pet Monster asked for a Halloween cake. So we're gonna make him one. Is anybody else out there making him one? He wants everybody to make him a Halloween cake. All right, so um, I'm gonna make one. My Halloween cake is gonna be donated to our church tomorrow. We are having our fall festival and they are doing a cakewalk. So they need cakes for the cakewalk. So I'm gonna make a cake and I'm gonna dedicate my cake to Pet Monster and Halloween. So if you wanna know who Pet Monster is, I'm gonna put a link to his channel in the description box below. Pet Monster and Monster Chick. You have to, it has to be both of them. So um, this video goes out to Pet Monster and Monster Chick. Check out their channel. This is your Halloween cake. It's coming up. Excuse the noise in the background. I'm cooking dinner in my active fry, so just disregard the noise. I hope it's not too loud. <coughs> um, the cake I'm gonna make tonight is called a chocolate mayonnaise cake. And this is a recipe in our family cookbook that we put together. And this recipe was submitted by my sister, Teresa. So we're gonna give you the secrets of our recipe book here. We're gonna give you one of our recipes. So. First of all, we're gonna use uh, mayonnaise and sugar and we're gonna mix it together in the bowl. So I'm gonna lower you down so you can watch me make this cake and uh, follow along and if you wanna try it, you can try it. Okay, hang on, let me lower the camera. So y'all tell me what you're gonna do for Halloween. Um, we're gonna start with the sip, nope, we're not. We're gonna start with the mayonnaise. All right, so I'm using Miracle Whip. Uh, sorry about that, that's all I got. That's all we use. So we're gonna do one and a half cups of mayonnaise. So I have a one cup and I have a half a cup. No, nope. that one's a half a cup. All right, so let me do, uh-oh, I missed the cup. That's how it goes. All right, out there, what's your favorite cake? If you were making a cake for Pet Monster and Monster Chick, what kind of cake would you make them and why? Oh, get in there. All right, is that a cup? All right, let me try to do the half a cup. Are you following along with me here? I'm going to take you all along to the... Uh, church festival. I don't know if it'll be posted before this recipe or after this recipe, but uh, Steve and I always dress up when we go. And uh, we'll be dressed up and we'll take you along so you can hang out with us. Alright, that looks like an empty bottle. Alright, we'll use it all. Cup and a half. Cup And a half. Alrighty. And we're going to wipe my hand off. We're going to add two cups of sugar. So I have my sugar, oh, sugar container. Can you see it? All right, that's my sugar. We're going to do, what did I say? Two cups of sugar. So we're mixing the mayonnaise and the sugar together. That's a lot of sugar, people. Good thing I don't have to eat this cake. One. My sister's skinny too. I don't know how she can eat like this and still be skinny. All right, two cups of sugar. Put this away. 
and let's see it says mix them together eh. we're gonna mix it with the mixer all right we'll try the mixer here we go ready looks pasty Woo. okay add water and vanilla and it's calling for two cups of water it doesn't say cold or hot so I'm just gonna turn the tap on and hope for the best I don't bake a lot one and I love my kitchen I got my little sink over here so I don't have to go over to the other sink that's two cups of water and two teaspoons of vanilla. So I have a teaspoon here. Shake this vanilla up a little bit. And two teaspoons. One, two. All right. Done with that. All right. So we'll mix this up just a little bit. Alright, and we'll be right back. Now we're going to do all the dry ingredients. So it's saying to beat the dry ingredients in. So we need for dry ingredients, we're going to be using four cups of flour. So let me get my flour. One. Two. Three like a lot of flour too but I guess it makes a big cake all right four cups of flour <clears throat> we're gonna do two teaspoons of baking soda got my baking soda we'll do two teaspoons one two Going to do a pinch of salt. I got regular sea salt. Just put a pinch in there. And then it's calling for cocoa. And it's calling for eight tablespoons of cocoa. I'm going to go ahead and put my cocoa in the bowl because I don't like it in my sifter. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, we got four cups of flour, two cups of sugar, two teaspoons of baking soda, eight tablespoons of cocoa, pinch of salt. One and a half cups of mayonnaise, two cups of water, and two teaspoons of vanilla. Alright, so all we got to finish up with is our dry ingredients here. So we're going to mix those together. Let's go.
I think I got chocolate all over my cookbook here. Let me try to wipe that off. Make it look like I used it. All right, Pet Monster and Monster Chick, is this a start of a good cake for you? All right, it's nice and fluffy. Okay, looks pretty mixed. All right, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put it in a bud pan. I'm gonna spray this with uh, cooking spray with a little bit of flour in it so it doesn't stick. All right, how's that? Good enough? Probably. All right, get it in here. No eggs in this. Maybe eggs in the mayonnaise. So you know what that means? That means you can lick the pan. Alright y'all. What do you think? Going in the oven for 40 minutes, I got it at 350 degrees. So um, let's put it in, I'll be back, and we'll see what it looks like when it's finished. The cake is out of the oven. It looking pretty good this is what it looks like jiggle it loose a little bit it's been sitting for about maybe 20 25 minutes so I got this plate at the Dollar Tree uh, it's a nice plate for a dollar plastic um, it says do not put in the microwave don't put in the dishwasher for decorative use only All right, we're gonna throw the cake on it. Flip it over. Take that off. And there you go. We got a cake. You ready to decorate? Let's decorate this thing. This is for you, Pet Monster and Monster Chick. So I'm going to be calling this cake uh, the Boneyard. So it's kind of like a graveyard of bones. So I got some chocolate chips. I need to make dirt. Alright. So I'm just going to see if I can't maybe chop these up a little bit. Let me see. See, I got my knife over here. Alright, let's see what we can do. Make some dirt. No, there's probably an easier way to put this in a a blender or something. Uh food processor, whatever, but hey, I'm going to do it my way. I 
been kind of looking forward to decorating this cake. I got some ideas how to make my boneyard, graveyard. So, let's see how it comes out. Now everything I'm putting on this cake that is not edible has been washed. I did wash everything. So just want you all to know that. Okay, I think that's gonna be good for my dirt. I get a bowl to put this in. like dirt looks like dirt to me all right I'm gonna save these chips in case I need some more who doesn't like chocolate chips we have to clean up after ourselves here all right let's wipe my my board down decorate a cake. I'm going to just wash my hands real quick. Get a clean towel out the drawer and let's go decorate a cake. Okay, so we're calling this the boneyard. So there's a few things that I've got, okay? Um, I've got these little candies and it's called skulls and bones and they were all like individually packed like in little packs like this so I opened the packs and I've got some in a bowl so these are gonna be some of the bones for our boneyard and uh, so to start out with this I'm gonna just set this aside just for a minute um, I'll show you my ingredients this is chocolate syrup and what I'm gonna do is I'm and not gonna frost this cake I'm just gonna glaze this cake okay so I'm gonna use the chocolate syrup and most everything that I bought to go on this cake came from the Dollar Tree so this syrup came from the Dollar Tree all right I'll take that little top off it and I'm gonna pour some of the syrup into the bowl oops there we go that's pretty good huh all right syrup and i have some powdered sugar this didn't come from the dollar tree this came from the store i'm going to just thicken up the syrup a little bit this is going to be sugary because i want more like a glaze than a syrup but i was trying to make this as easy as i could And because this is a, a graveyard and it's dirt, it's going to be brown. The glaze is going to be brown. I don't want this to be too morbid and do any reds or anything like that. So I know it is Halloween and I know it is Pet Monster and all that stuff is good. But it would look slime. <laughs> but um, <coughs> this has to go to the church and you know some child might take this home this does really look like slime if you mix chocolate syrup and you put um powdered sugar in it it kind of gets like a slime consistency i better check and see what it tastes like i would hate to give them something bad hang on
Just want to make sure it ain't gross. Because it is like slimy. Look at that. terrible. It's chocolatey. It, it, it kind of got like a weird consistency. I don't know if that's good or bad. Oh well. We're going with it. Alright. It still tastes chocolatey though. Alright. So Gonna pour this on. she wrote. Oops, I missed this whole side. Y'all didn't tell me I was missing this side over here. Here. Let me turn this this way. Oh my gosh, I missed the whole bunch of it. Why didn't y'all tell me I was missing it? Like really thick in the middle. There we go. That should work. All right. All right. So far, you see that? Okay. So we have our our mound, our burial mound. So let's go ahead and sprinkle some dirt on it. A lot of dirt in the middle. Oops, I missed. Can y'all see it? I'm making a mess. All right. Now, just gonna sprinkle a little bit of chocolate syrup over it so my bones will stick. You see the bones? Try not to let them all slide off. I guess it'll have to just harden on there. Oh, get up there. Thank you. 
All right, see the bones? The skulls and the bones. All right. Now, I got these little skeleton people. These pet monster monster chicks sent to me last Christmas time. I had some leftovers. So, let's see. Got an orange one. All right, so we're gonna use some of these because these are bones. And I'm gonna bend these little people at the legs like this. So they're sitting down. Did you see them good? Yeah. All right, and I'm gonna sit them on the side of the cake. I think, I'll see if I can do this. Let me move this little skull. Alrighty. I don't know if the black one will be too dark. I'll put it on there and see what happens. Alright. Okay. Now we have the hand. I'm gonna put the hand in the middle because it's coming out of the grave. See it? Okay. All right. So my daughter told me this would work. I'm gonna try this and see what happens. I have cotton candy. I gotta open it. Now before I put it on the cake, I'm gonna make sure it does what I want it to do. Cause this is an old boneyard. I'm done with the syrup. So what she said I could do with this, if I can get this to work, is she said I may be able to, to make spider webs with it, cobwebs. Not. Nah. Mm. I don't think I can. It doesn't really pull apart. Really? No, I don't think that's going to work. So, hmm. All right. That's okay. I have spiders. I have the little white spiders, and I bought some little blue spiders and black spiders and yellow bugs. So, I'm just, and these are washed. Remember, I took everything that I have that's plastic and I washed it so that everything is clean going onto this cake. All right. So, and I have a big spider too because I was going to try to see if I could do a spider web and then put the spider there coming out of the web. Um, oh, I need these guys to sit down and stay. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna put the bug coming out of the palm of his hand, and I don't know if you can see that, but when I finish, I'll bring the camera down and I'll show you how everything looks. And I'm gonna put a bug there. Put a 
bug. Oh, I have bugs upside down. Put a bug there. I'm gonna wipe my hands. See what other kind of bugs I got. Uh oh, my scarecrow. My skeletons are falling down. I need something to hold them in. Put a bug there. And put a bug here. I got snakes. Shall we try a snake? see if I can find another snake here. What do y'all think? Is that kind of weird? I think I'm just about done. Can't think of two more else. I think I don't want to overkill it. Get it? Overkill? <laughs> They're dead. They're just bones. Should I put some cotton candy around it just to decorate it up? Or do you think it's just gruesome enough the way it is? I think I, I don't I think I'm gonna do without the cotton candy all right so I think I'm happy with the way it looks I think I'm going to bring you guys around here to get a good look at it I'm gonna take some pictures and post it on Facebook to see if uh, see what the masses think if everybody likes it or not But uh, that will be my Halloween cake to donate. And this is for Pet Monster and Monster Chick. Check out their link in the description box below. They're monsters and they love Halloween. And I love Halloween and I love my monster friends. So <clears throat> y'all have a wonderful Halloween. Thank you for hanging out with me as I decorate this cake to go to the church for the donation for the cakewalk. Uh, y'all give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not subscribed and you want to, and, uh, thank you for hanging out on the premiere, if you came to the premiere to hang out and watch me bake this cake, I've had a lot of fun, and, uh, happy thank, uh, happy Thanksgiving, happy Halloween, everybody, <laughs> bye now.